All right, man, it was a discussion. Uh, Detroit Lions writer Logan was talking about, uh, he asked Lion fans on Twitter, sorry, I can't pronounce his last name, I forget it. Uh, would you rather have TJ Hawkinson or Noah Fant? And basically, they had the same season last year coming out of Iowa. Noah Fant went, what, seven picks, few picks uh, down the line after TJ Hawkinson. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. I think Hawkinson scored two touchdowns last year. Noah Fant scored three. He had about 200 yards more than TJ Hawkinson, but Hawkinson paid four less games. Noah Fant struggled early on. Outside the Arizona game, Hawkinson struggled early on. Uh, so let's talk about Mercy Sports Talk. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And you know I'm honest to give my honest opinion. I don't try to be a homer too much, and I don't. I can't call it yet. I can't call it too early. We'll see year two to year three, year three to year four. You know, we we'll kind of see through those years uh, who grow. But right now, it's too early to tell. It's too early. They both had their struggles early last year, and, and then obviously, Fan was more healthier, and they had quarterback issues in Denver, and. Um, Fant was more healthier, and he got to figure things out towards the end of the season when he got this regular quarterback, Drew Locke, who I really like a lot. Um, but it's hard to tell. I think Hawkinson, he struggled with some holding calls last year. I didn't really watch Noah Fant like that. I watched a few Denver games. But it's too early to call right now. Um, I'm not going to say all oh, the Lions got it wrong. It might be some tight end they took. You know, somebody took in the fifth or sixth round that might, you know, stood up and be one of the better tight ends in the draft. So we'll see how it go. I think it's a premature conversation. I think it's going to be, they're going to be tied at the hip, same school. Fant was the starter. Hawkinson was the backup. And if Hawkinson go down and not be a good tight end, and Fant be, and it goes on to be a great tight end, or goes on not to be a good tight end either, the Lions are going to get drugged either way. They have bad history of drafting tight ends. I mean, from Pettigrew, the same year they took Stafford, to, you know, Eric Ebron, to, you know, whoever you want to go to, uh, you know, now Hawkinson. So we'll see pretty much how it boils down. But like I said, Stop and start the video. I've been doing that often. Phone calls and stops all day, but but yeah, like I was saying, it was just too. Pre it was premature to uh, to pick either uh, Hawkinson or Fant right now, in my opinion. Um, numbers identical when you kind of average that. When you go with the average amount of games, um, obviously Hawkinson brings more of an impact in the blocking game. He had a little struggles, but like I said before, man, the Lions take the reason tight ends, you know. Lead, usually go later in the middle rounds or the later rounds because it's the it's a developmental position. You got to learn the blocking. You got to learn the route tree, not just the tight end routes, the one, the second tight end spot. I mean, you got to learn the line audibles. You got to learn the route audibles. You got to let the play audibles. I mean, it's a lot to learn. Then sometimes you got to learn the slot. You got to learn the X. You got to learn all these different positions and different audibles. And it, it's really... Potholes. It's really a tough position. It's really a tough position to learn, man. So, um, like I said before, man, it's just it's very, very. How can I say it? It's very. It's a very, very difficult position to develop, man, in the league, and that's why you historically don't see them do dudes go that high. So, in my opinion, I think. Uh, I do think. I do think that Hawkinson brings more of a dynamic to the. Uh, to the game as far as uh, blocking, as far as, uh, you know, just blocking. He bring more of a dynamic. Noah Fan is more athletic. He fast coming in and out his breaks. He brings speed, but Ebron brought speed and, and all that. So I do think Hawkinson is a more complete tight end, but then again, you know, his, you know, taking the backup tight end before the starting tight end, um, and, 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 and the backup tight end not panning out, this is, you know, it could be a classic SOL situation, but I'm not ready to write and put both of them in the Hall of Fame. I'm not ready to write one, all of them off. I'm not ready to determine who better than who or who going to go on to be a Hall of Famer. It's a lot to be determined with Hawkinson, I think, and, and Fan. I think the thing about Hawkinson is pretty much is can, is it Matthew Stafford not being good to tight ends and Daryl Bevel history not being good with tight ends you know, in the intermediate, the crosser, intermediate crossing routes, and those those middle to field routes, can uh, Daryl Bevel and Matthew Stafford change that narrative that people have about them on tight ends? And for Noah Fant, can him and Drew Locke, you know, for, uh, form that rapport? And can he get good as a blocker? So, like I said before, I, I can't call it right now. It's too premature. But obviously, 
my heart is with um, TJ Hawkinson being a better player. So this is my opinion. Let me know who y'all, what y'all guys think about the debate. Hawkinson a fan. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. We gone.